Okay, here we go with the uh, Coho Pack and Carry. This is a quick review. Um, first impressions, this is my um, Arctic uh, 45. It's fairly close in size. Let's see. Almost lines up to it. Almost. Got about 25% left. All right. Um, materials, build-wise, pretty sturdy. It's got kind of a concave right here. I'm not sure if that's from... Something sitting on this one, but I don't really care. Oh boy. Oh, okay, I just did that wrong. So there's a button here, guys. Okay, let's see. Oh, my need two hands. Yeah, the weather, or excuse me, the uh, watertight seal part. I'm gonna hold that. I set my phone down one second. So I've, I haven't been able to open this thing. And I'm shoving in this um, pry bar. Got the latches off. <laughs> yeah, so that. Whew! There we go. So this thing was vacuum tight for some reason. Oh wow, nice. Oh yeah, that's gonna do just fine. So I'm using this for my um, tech and my grill, maybe parts here. Um, yeah, personal belongings, maybe a little first aid. Kind of like an all-in-one for me. Um, this is, you know, like a camping box for us. So this is my um, Yeti. 45 below I mean excuse me oh, God, Arctic 45 below and yeah so we're reviewing the coho pack and carry box right so you could have found this on Costco or just get on Amazon price varies from 50 to $100 yeah so right away I do notice a good build quality everything feels a little thicker than your normal case um, yeah this seals was airtight so there's no doubt this thing is waterproof but I will be testing that I'm gonna put this thing in my pond and see what happens here I'm gonna fill it up with some uh, paper and just miscellaneous stuff and just throw it in my pond and force it to go uh, underwater submerge it in the pond and see what happens cool all right, so before I throw this thing in my pond, I um, just wanted to point out that it does have some uh, nice rubber feet. It's actually not plastic. It's a, it's rubber and um, very grippy. So that's nice. Um, on the switches, you've got the little uh, logos and push and that clips open. Um, you can put your lock in here. It's got some weight to it. Um, got the coho graphic on top. It's actually like an embossed graphic, which is which I like. Um, you're gonna be carrying this thing with two hands or or one like this. <laughs> There's no handle on it at all, so um, yeah, which is fine, I guess. Uh, it's small enough to to carry, you know, with uh, with one hand or two, I guess. Uh, if you put it along your side of your body like that, if it's not weighing too much, but yep. How it stacks up to the uh, Arctic 45. Yeah, nice comparison. And if you're wondering what size that is, um, let me get a measuring tape. Okay, so width wise, we're looking at roughly about 18 and a half inches. Um, front to back, uh, let's see, is a really rough uh, measurement. Roughly 14 inches. And depth from bottom to top with the feet um, sorry for the video angles looks like uh, 11 and a half so 11 and a half uh, in height uh, 14 front to back and then width you're looking at 18 and a half so there's your dimensions there if you're wondering 
Um, I couldn't find any actual dimensions on the um, description on this thing. And it did come with a little paper on top of this thing, like a tag, but I'm not sure where it's at now. But just kind of listing its features, and it just was on the um, along the lines of being um, uh, heavy duty, latchable, and uh, waterproof. So again, we will be testing that. So um, I've seen people remove these things. So if you're wondering how that's done, you just twist that, and you do that to all four corners, and you can slide this off. But we're going to be putting that back, and there's, it's actually notched, so they don't they don't come out very easy. So that's cool. There you go. Yeah. So far, I'm very pleased with this case. From what I see, this will... Um... So, as I was saying, uh, so far, I'm very pleased with this case. And um, the next video I'm going to do is uh, put some papers in here, like I was saying, and then a few miscellane miscellaneous items. And then uh, submerge this into my pond and see if it's actually waterproof. Um, and that's pretty much it for this case, guys. Uh, thank you so much, and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate it.